Uh, well, it's come to us for getting ready for the finals in September over in New Zealand. So basically, it's for a clean up, get it nice and bright and shiny, uh, take up uh, a couple of little dents that are in the cover. Um, apart from that, that's all the attention it really needs, but it's making it ready and presentable for the finals next month. Well, it's, it's traditional uh, uh, silversmithing that's coming to the workshop for where we're using the way that we've done for years on trophies, which is taking dents out using the traditional tools you see around us. It's not mechanical. Making that nice and round now, so it should now fit into the cup. Nice and snug. And of course, finally going into the polishing shop, which it will get that final luster that we all know as bright, shiny silver, and in this case, gold-plated um, silverware. It's treated with quite a lot of respect, and although it's rugby, you, they, they treat it with a lot more care than, say, some of the football trophies, which come back with lots of dents and, and bruises. Um, but this one's pretty well respected. We've worked with the IRB uh, for the past three or four years doing various work for them but in more recently we've been working uh, on the trophy and anything that needs doing to the trophy be it clean polish minor repair work we look after here in our workshop um, but the trophy is extremely well looked after and so any work that needs doing is, is generally very minor repair work but today it just needs a very good clean up and polish before it goes to New Zealand. There we are, ready for the final.